doesn't it? So 1983. But right, what does being a Viking have to do with anything? This is the 20th century. We have electricity, penicillin, jet planes, implants. Well, I don't, but I want some, but I heard the operation is really gross. You live like it's 982 AD or something. Find ye tongue, wench, lest I cut it out. Deep down, all of you listening to me say, for, yes, I'd like to unleash the Viking within. Maybe you go camping once a year or hunting and wonder why it feels so natural. That's because it is. Too much of this denying your instincts. Men shaving. You know, deep down in the pit of your soul, you wish you could crouch in the grass with flies biting your face, afraid to move for fear of alerting the beasts, covering yourself with yak gear and to thwart your spell. Then, a beast draws close. You bounce, bringing your battle axe on its skull. Man and animal at that moment. One and the same in a terrible beauty. Then you drag the carcass back to camp and celebrate by eating its heart. Some people, they only do this once in a lifetime. I do this every day, and so can you. All it takes is some positive thinking. Just attend my Unleashed the Norse... Wait. Don't talk to me. I'm gonna shut that big mouth of yours. Eh, he's got a blade. Stop running, you fat slime ball! Away from me, you cheap bastard! Oh, sweet Jesus! I've wasted my life and my looks! Stand still and I'll make it quick! I'll pay you double, dummy! Double! But you can... Thanks to the court, a woman who reads well provides for her man. You cannot set sail for robbing and pillaging on an empty stomach. It's like the story of the parson's wife and the troll. I don't think I've ever heard of that one. Great Carl Erson, the mainlanders have no historical perspective. Read the runes. It's all right there. Talk to a grandparent. But no, he cast people out like rubbish. Wisdom is not to be treated so lightly. When my father grew old...